Good morning guys and welcome back to our daily market outlook. So a quick breakdown here on the dollar index and the major dollar pairs. So the dollar index overall has been reacting to this daily area of supply. As we can see a further decrease of price in towards downside. Price is now on the lower time frame at a crucial area of support. So what I wanna see is if this level is going to hold for us. If this level holds, then I would be looking for a further increase in price. What I'll be keeping my eyes open for is if we can break this fractal high. If we break this fractal high, then I'll be looking for further upside continuation. Otherwise, I'll just look for further downside push. So break of that high, continuation, respect of the high, further downside push. So that is pretty much that from the dollar index. Overall daily order flow is still bearish. What we can see over here is very clearly this daily imbalance over here acting as your area of supply. We're creating a lower low, so break of the lows, break of the lows, and now we have a new low and we have a new high. So pretty much just what's happening is a 618 Fib retracement and then a further down to continuation from this level of supply. Now moving onwards in towards your USD, your USD has been moving upwards. So pretty much as expected, we've seen an increase in price on Euro dollar. Obviously, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, we had this overall descending trend line. As we know, above trend lines is where liquidity lies. So what is now just happening is that we're liquidating those overall highs. For the rest, we did not respect this area of supply. So we saw a further increase in price. Now, what I'm looking for is pretty much just continuation from this level of demand in towards the upside to take out that uh, yeah, overall swing high. So that's what I'm looking for here on Euro dollar. Um, yeah, just based on the four hour, this area of demand, as long as that holds, keep on looking <laughs> for further upside. Go back in towards the daily real quick. Uh, the daily could come up for one more double top. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that for the rest. I mean, what we can see from a daily perspective is that we've just reacted to this overall daily demand zone and that's why we're now seeing higher prices so yeah just follow the over order flow order flow for now is bullish so let's just continue to look for longs on euro usd now going in towards aud usd aud usd in itself did not respect this area of four hour supply which i drew in yesterday um, what i'm now looking at is pretty much the next level of supply uh, which we have now reached so we've now reached in towards this level of supply so what I'm now looking for is a correction after a pretty big move in towards the upside. So we're now in an area of supply. If we just quickly go in towards the daily, however, do keep in mind the daily is bullish. So the daily is bullish from this low in towards this high. However, obviously we've only seen a minor pullback, but we have seen a tap in towards daily demand. So what I'm now pretty much just looking at is to see, okay, is the four hour now ready to continue up higher? Looking at the four hour overall, yes, we have seen an internal trend shift. We broke this high, which broke this low. So what I'm now looking for maybe is if we break this low over here, it's like a short term short back down in towards, for example, over here. So keep an eye on the 15 minute time frame for some potential shorts once we break this uh, yeah, consolidation range. Moving in towards pound dollar. Pound dollar on the four hour has moved up higher. Uh, pretty much as expected, we've now reached that area of supply. Uh, market is uh, pretty slow. What I'm going to be looking at is if we can break structure over here. So break this four hour fractal low and then see a further decrease in price. So pretty similar to Aussie dollar overall. Go in towards the daily. Uh, the daily is also still inside this overall supply zone. So it is a good value short. So let's see if we can get some shorts here on pound dollar. Moving on in towards Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi dollar overall moved up higher as well as expected. Uh, we've now liquidated this overall high. As we know from yesterday, it was a very rangy market. Now going in towards the daily, uh, the daily is now inside supply once again. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously I wouldn't wanna be shorting, uh, I wouldn't be wanting to go long from here, uh, but as well the four hour has, yeah, let's say creates an overextended move. I think there's gonna be a correction due on NZD USD uh, now going in towards the 15 it's a little bit of a tricky pair I would say very very messy at the moment uh, but just keep an eye out mainly on for example the one hour time frame then go in towards the one hour and then we'll look to our left what do we have over here and then we see we have a nice area of refined supply so this supply zone would be located let me just quickly check to be sure that I have the right one. Yeah, so it's over here. 
So this supply zone would be, let's say, uh, this is your candle, which should be supplied. So we could see still a further increase in price. And then what I look for is a potential short once we reach that supply zone, then break and then further push down. A nice correction trade could be due for today or tomorrow. Uh, keep your eyes out for the four hour. Go in towards our last pair, which is gold. So gold overall, uh, very beautiful guys, uh, pretty much as explained yesterday. Push back up in towards supply and now we are looking for shorts obviously. So now go in towards the 15 and look to see if we can trade gold further in towards the downside. Back down in towards that demand zone on the four hour time frame, which is still fresh. Uh, so I would like to see a short in towards, what was it like 23.17? Um, so yeah, now we're inside four hour demand. Just keep it in mind, if we break that, then look for those shorts. For now, you could still look for a potential long, uh, despite this four hour demand zone or this imbalance camel not really achieving anything. Um, you could look for a potential long, but if that four hour low breaks, then keep in mind, you definitely wanna be going short. So yeah, let's look for that potential short, maybe a long first back up in towards supply and then from supply, a potential short again. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Wish you a fantastic day and speak soon.